Merry Christmas, everybody. It's Werner von Wallenrod. Winter in Wernerland. What kind of Christmas are you having? Right here, I'll tell you what kind of Christmas I'm having. A cold, chillin' Christmas. Wow. From this album right here. Winter in Wernerland, or in this case, Winter in Warnerland. That's right, this came out in 1988. Let's see if you can get a good look at it. it doesn't give me too much of a glare. That doesn't really help. <laughs> anyway, Christmas album. Warner Brothers Records. Double LP. Um, one song in particular is of relevance. Cold Chillin' Christmas by The Juice Crew, or more specifically, uh, produced by Marley Marl, featuring Big Daddy Kane, MC Shan, Roxanne Chante, and Fly Tie. It's a nice double LP here in, check it out, red and green vinyl, Christmas colors, eh, eh. You got the one sort of in the nice sleeve with the liner notes on it, and then you got the more traditional sleeve. So this is a collection of Christmas songs, obviously, by Warner Brothers artists, or people who were Warner Brothers artists back in 1988, which is probably no longer the case for most of these people, including all the people on Cultural and, uh, Cultural and Christmas. And now, I don't know if you care about Christmas songs by, like, ZZ Top, um... The Traveling Wilburys, I sure as hell don't. It's only one song I care about, Cold Chill and Christmas, Juice Crew. I'm gonna read you the liner notes of this one. The rappers from Cold Chill and got together at Marley's house to lay down this dope number featuring Big Daddy Kane, whose debut album Long Live the Kane has been top 10 for months, MC Shan, who's back with I Pioneered This from his Born to Be Wild LP, and Roxanne Chante, Lucy of Rick James's Lucy's Rap. All three had tracks on the Gold Color soundtrack. Cold Chill and Christmas also introduces the rapping debut of Fly Ty, aka Tyrone Williams, chairman of Cold Chill and Records. Now, if that doesn't sound promising, the rapping debut of Cold Chill and um, chairman, I don't know what does. Now, of course, I'm going to play you a clip of this, but before I do, let me just tell you a little something about the instrumental. Uh, you're going to recognize the beat right away. Um, I'm sure you remember a really hot posse cut, you know, it was a big single and everything off of Heavy D's third album. Um, don't Curse, you know, featured Grand Pooba, Pete Rock CL Smooth, Big Daddy Kane, Cool G Rap, Q-Tip, Heavy D himself. Uh, I think that was it. Uh, it was about, like, the second or third single uh, off the third album. But it was really dope. It was cool. And it was his first sort of underground, not underground, but, you know, like a street beat, you know, as opposed to the kind of glossy R&B-ish kind of stuff that Heavy D normally does. Um, that beat and this beat, basically the same thing. I mean... They added a few little tiny sample differences in the Heavy D version, but basically the same beat and the same main sample, the same groove uh, on both songs. This one, of course, Marley had it first here. I think Heavy D used it because he figured this is basically, it's not on release, but it's pretty well on known. So I guess he thought it was open season, fair game. So you're going to recognize the beat, but you can hear, and Big Daddy, he had to know that the beat was used before because Big Daddy Kane is on both versions. He's on... Cold Chill and Christmas, and he's on Don't Curse, so there's no way they just both randomly got the same sample. He had to know at some point. So basically, this album's the only way to get it. 1988, Warner Brothers Records, one probably most people really couldn't be uh, fucked picking up. I mean, look at this awful album cover. I mean, these guys, you know, I'm ZZ Top and all, they were popular, they had fans. Randy Travis, so I guess people were, you know, Pee Wee Herman. Pee Wee Herman's actually featured on here three times, three separate times. <laughs> um... So I don't know. Maybe their fans are, are fiending for this, just like hip-hop fans are. But it's a little obscure, a little hard to get. But you can probably snag it relatively cheap. Because most people uh, don't know, you know, why you would want to own this album. <laughs> uh, and if you're keeping track, Cold Chill and Christmas is featured on the red record, not the green record. So, okay, let's go to a clip right now. You're definitely going to dig it. Like I said, great beat, even though you've heard it before. But MC Shan, Roxanne Chante... Big Daddy Kane. Fly Tie can't rap, but that's okay. He's on at the end. It's sort of a joke. It's sort of like having Santa Claus come on and rap at the end. It's sort of like having Bushwick Bill rap at the end of Damn It Feels Good to Be a Gangsta when he's uh, in the persona of George Bush. You know what I'm saying? It's sort of like a novelty at the end that goes with the theme of the song. Except he's not playing Santa Claus. He's just himself Fly Tie. But whatever. It's fun. It's cool. We'll listen to it. I'm done. Werner Von Wallenrod having a cold, chillin' Christmas. Winter in Wernerland. Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, Winter Solstice. Just plain winter months, whatever you dig. Peace out.
by sound clip coming up now. Bye again. All right. Uh-huh. Yes, stop. Christmas time. We're going to do a real Christmas song. Jingle bell, jingle bell rock with hip hop. Hmm, look what we got here. Yeah, I definitely can relate. One heck of a Christmas present for 88 as I flow and let it go. So fresh like Santa, you have to say ho, ho, ho. So girls and boys, let's make some noise. Give thanks for joys and all goodies and toys for Christmas. Yes, indeed, this must be the greatest holiday treat. So people just buzz how I celebrate as we elevate. Big Daddy Kane is on the mic and I'ma tell a great Christmas line for your delight. That's Merry Christmas to all and to all nah, a good nah, night. Son, say, where you at? Yo, son. Son, go on the mic, baby. Come on, son. You got to. Got to. Got to, son. Come on. Let's go. Kick it. Now, I've been a good girl all year round. And this is what I want from the people who are down. Now, I am mainly speaking about my family and friends. I want a BMW or Jaguar or Ben. It really doesn't matter the expense of the gift. Because being around them such a spiritual uplift. To think about just be cold chilling yeah, cause like in the that. past year I made a record with Rick uh, but now I'm gonna end this like Earth a kick it may sound cute or it may sound crazy but this one's for you Santa, Santa baby, baby. Jingle bells at Christmas time, but I decked the halls with the Christmas rhyme. Santa used to drive a sleigh in Christmas past. He was chilling when I seen him last. A Lamborghini with a spoiler kit. Driving looked like Santa, and I said, oh, it's a feeling on my mind in an altar state. But chilling up north on a reindeer plate instead of Louis Vuitton or Gucci fixes. His rags had pictures of Donna and Blitzen. To top it off, he had a phone in the tent instead of Treads. Holmes ties left hook prints. He came to a hall, but he did not screech. And in the back of my mind, some said don't reach. He said, ho, 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 yo, Shan, loud and clear. I ain't heard a rap from you in a year. Man, we couldn't hear some beats that's brewed in the broth. And if you don't rock these, that means you're soft. He said, Shan, my man, I got a busy night. And you'll be straight next year if you rock this right. To my surprise, when I woke on Christmas dawn, I couldn't find my tapes and my lyrics were gone. But underneath the tree in a red and blue pack was up cold chill and Warner Brothers contract. So I'm here tonight to share my cheers. So Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Now once again, let your hands applause with this contribution to Santa Claus, to Frosty, to Rudolph, etc., etc. Just remember these rhymes we said to you. Tis the season to come to reason. With the good spirit we find to be pleasing, easing every single form of tension. Also, I'd like to mention Merry Christmas to Biz Marquis, Coogee Rap Polo, and Craig G. Marley Mar Glamorous, the list goes on to powerful person.